Again, Aaron is with me from the Fire Resistant Podcast. Him and his friend, Fred. And I guess more than just Fred, right? How many people do you stream with normally? Uh, well, the Fire Resistant Podcast is me and Fred, but the Sunday show is completely different. But yeah, it's it's Fred. Okay. And so you and Fred on Twitch stream multiple times a week, sometimes with your wife, sometimes with some other friends. You guys yeah. go check them out, follow them on Twitch, follow them on YouTube, I believe, right? Uh, yes, more Twitch than anything. Yeah. We're, we want to start with Twitch and then maybe branch out to YouTube. Yeah. But today we are talking about Bricked, which is a an hour and 32 minutes long, written and directed by Alicia Kauser. Um, she's worked on some TV shows and short films, but this is kind of her first feature length. It stars okay. Tracy Campbell and Terrence Carson. And it's about a high school grad who finds himself in turmoil with his family as he battles coping with bipolar disorder. What do you think of this trailer? So f- my first reaction to this trailer is that the acting in it is absolutely atrocious. Yeah. I mean, the, the first uh, 30 seconds of the, the trailer... Like if you watch this trailer and you and you get to the scene where he's walking down the steps with his uh, his blonde friend, yeah. where she speaks to him, I'm not here to have sex with you. I'm here to hang out. But it's like she literally delivers the line, just like I just said it. Yeah. It's like I did not come down here to have sex with you. I came down here to hang out. And he's like, okay, I did not intend for you to have sex with me. It was it's such terrible. That's terrible scene. Yeah. Well, the sound design is awful. The yes. Uh, the uh, spe- uh, specifically the blonde girl all her right. lines in the trailer are adr they're all recorded after the fact and there's okay. no volume so she can be you know 100 yards away from the camera or right up front and her volume consistency is exactly the same and so right. when, when you're watching that you're like it's very off-putting because you can't tell if it's a um a voiceover or if it's her speaking and so it like trips your brain up a little bit trying to figure out what's going on and makes it stand out really aggressively. I noticed that too. And, you know, just like with the the last one we talked about, I have the trailer uh, going on in the background and it's about the 51 second one where he's walking and her voice is talking over his walking. Yeah. It did, it, it did exactly what you just said. It threw me off. Like, wait a minute. Is she talking from across the room? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it, it it really messes you up. I, it and it seems like a simple thing to me, someone who's never made a movie before, to right. not do. But I don't know. Maybe they didn't notice, didn't care. But it, it, right, it, or maybe they didn't look at the dailies and they're like, "Oh yeah, the audio is awesome." Yeah. And then when they went back to edit, they're like, "Wait a minute, the audio is terrible." So we got to go back and, uh, as you call it, was ADR it. Yeah. Okay. But is the, there a difference between ADR and looping? Uh, looping? The, I don't know what looping is. That sounds like right, when you that, repeat stuff, yeah? That, that's an old term. Leave me oh, alone. Oh, my bad. I'm not <laughs> not quite as old as you. Yeah, I know. But, um, um, yeah, I think this but, movie has potential to be good. It uh, It's either going to earn the topics. It's using, you know, uh, mental disorders, uh, psych, psychotic drugs. Um, right. Uh, and it looks like he's going to murder his brother kind of hard to tell maybe he just attacks them uh those are all really heavy and if they logically walk you through each of them and earn it emotionally it's going to be i think really really good if they don't do that it's going to feel really shallow yeah one of the things i got from this trailer was and it could be i misinterpreted what because the trailer is kind of wonky Mm -hmm. um i couldn't tell if he actually had bipolarism or did this doctor just give it to him and the and the pills jack him up and he was he never had it to begin with yeah because i didn't i didn't i didn't know i couldn't really gather from the trailer enough to see what the character is dealing with yeah i took it as he definitely has it but that's a good point okay. he, he may not and that he right. gets more and more aggressive on the pills which is i think something that can and does happen Right. I have, uh, I have two kids that have ADHD and, and we, you know, it's trial by error. And some of the, some of the medicines they had did alter their personalities just a little bit, not, yeah. not violently, but it did alter them to where we had to find something else. Yeah. So, you know, that's why I brought it up as far as like, 
is the purpose of this film to say, hey, you don't have to put your kids on drugs? Or is this film telling a story about a kid who does have it and you just walk down the path with them? Yeah. Yeah, no, that'd be... Both of those sound interesting to me. I'm just concerned that based on the trailer, it's not going to be that well done. And uh, yeah, it's, the acting is probably is probably gonna ultimately throw us off. Yeah. But are you are you interested in seeing Bricked? Do you think you'll pass it? Um, I, so I do have a question. The, yes. the doctor that prescribes him the yes. medicine is that the actor from? This is us, or is that just a guy that looks like him? That I don't think that's the guy from This Is Us. That's Terrence Carson. He is in. Um, he's in quite a bit. I, let me pull it up real quick. I'll tell you. We don't have to pull it up. I just I was trying to figure out. It was I was gonna say it's either the guy from This Is Us or Dennis Rodman. <laughs> he does kind of look like Dennis Rodman <laughs> with his hair. Um, <laughs> let's see. He was in Black Lightning. He, he's in a lot of like. TV appearances for like one-offs. Um, Mortal Kombat. It's okay, but, 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 to, but to answer yeah. your question, um, this is going to be probably a movie that uh, probably pass on just because I know the audio is going to be terrible and it's yeah. going to drive me crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll see this one either. I, uh, again, this might be one on Netflix if I remember it specifically and kind of was like, Oh yeah, I was interested to see how this turns out, but I'm not like looking. I'm not trying to go out of my way at all. Maybe if I'm on the airplane and I got 16 hours to fill, that might be a good one. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll throw a um, a prediction out here, uh, based off of what I've seen. Because again, I have the trailer going in the background here. I want to say he probably kills his brother over losing to him in a video game. You think it's over a video game? Yeah, Is I'm it, pretty sure they've uh, they've they've shown the video game here a lot. So maybe he loses to him and is like, "You'll never, you're not supposed to beat me in Madden." And then he rage. Yeah. yeah. Instead of rage, instead of rage quitting, he rage kills. Yeah, I, or rage he definitely up. he definitely hurts his brother, right? Like, yeah. I think he kills him, but that I don't know. Because there's a clip of him. It looks like he's in jail. There's yeah. the mom talking about no one's going to be a victim of this, you know, like talking to her son, like, you know, we're going to get through this type of thing. And I feel yeah, like murder is the only thing that really would fit with that theme or that idea. Well, the amount of blood that's on the floor when uh, his brother falls to the ground is in my opinion, because, you know, I watch UFC is about the equivalent of a good nose breaking. So yeah, that scene where, where he punches his brother could be the scene where he falls down. Blood just comes out of his nose. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hard pass. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below if you want to see it, if you're going to see it. And uh, we'll be back in the next day with our next trailer. That's what I meant to say. 